Welcome to your daily dose of Blender Day 78. In this series, we're going to take a look at sculpting in Blender. There are many ways to go about sculpting in Blender. However, here I'm going to hit Control 3 to add a subsurface level of 3. And now I'm going to apply this modifier. Control Tab and go into Sculpt Mode. Up here, let's turn on Dynamic Topology. This will dynamically add geometry to our mesh. You can find all the different settings for sculpting under the Tool option right here. And up here in the header bar. Let's turn on X Mirror so that it mirrors on the X axis. If we hit the T key, we get our tool shelf, which we could expand. And right here, we have all the different brushes for sculpting. Let's stay on the draw brush for this video. Up here, you can see we have a radius and a strength. F is the shortcut key to change the radius. And Shift F is the shortcut key to change the strength. We also have this option to add or subtract when we're drawing. If we want to change to subtract, we could just hold down Control. So right here, let's start to draw our creature. I'm going to hold down Control and draw some eye sockets. You can see once again holding down control is going to subtract and I'm going to hold down control and draw a little bit of a mouth right here. With dynamic topology on, depending on how close you are to the mesh, it will add more or less detail. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw on this a little bit and kind of rough out the shape. If you hold down the shift key, you could smooth things out. Once you have your creature face blocked out, we will continue in the next one.